guys, Crazy Postman here. So, if you remember my last couple videos, have been over trying to get this SeaTech Power CCS adapter to work with my Tesla, and I have not had any luck anywhere. My first two videos I tried at the Francis Energy Station in Frederick, Oklahoma. My third video was in Eric, Oklahoma at an Electrify America station, and none of them worked. I've plugged in my car 50 plus times and none of the locations ever worked yet. But I got some interesting news. I got contacted by a representative from Francis Energy and they seemed really eager to try to get this working and asked me if I would be willing to meet up with a couple representatives at the Frederick location and they would have one of their best techs on site to try to get this working. And I said, sure, you know, I want to get this working too. What a great response from this company. So I'm headed to Frederick right now. I'm supposed to meet up with these guys in about 20 minutes. And we're going to do everything we can do to get this adapter working. This would be a big win for Oklahoma because Francis Energy is the main provider of fast charging in Oklahoma. There's tons of Francis Energy stations dotted all over the state. And if we can get this working, it will be great. So I'm a few minutes away from getting there, and uh, hopefully we will meet these guys. They seem really eager to help, so we'll, we'll try to get this working. Hey guys, so I'm here at the uh, site in Frederick. The tech's working on the machine right now. He's working with his techs on Team Viewer right now, so I'm giving them some space. The other guy is working on the firmware on the adapter in the white car right now. So we're trying really hard to get this working. We're not exactly sure what's wrong with it now, but the tech hooked it up to the high-powered charger, and he said there was no indication of voltage from the car. So, you know, I'm not technical-minded here, but I'm assuming that charger's not going to come on unless it knows how many volts are in that car battery at the current time so they're still over there working on it i'm going to go back over there and join them and we're going to see if we can't get this figured out so we're still here in frederick we've tried multiple times they're doing everything they can do to get this thing working the lead technician here is on the phone with a corporate person and they're doing everything they can think of to get this thing working i'm starting to think it has to be an adapter problem these people at this station like i said they're doing everything they can do to get this working it's just that adapter is not communicating what the tech said is the charger it's seeing voltage now but what's not happening is the car is not requesting voltage or amperage it's not saying how much power it wants is the problem i think right now it's really hard they're talking technical and I'm, I'm, I'm not a technical person so I, I don't exactly know uh, what's going on but I do know they're trying really hard and we, we tried to update that firmware we can't get the adapter to communicate with the PC either so I'm just starting to think there must be something wrong more seriously with my adapter than other people's but we'll keep working on it and I'll final I'll give you all a final update here in just a little bit Hey guys, I guess you're wondering why I have a different shirt on and where the dog came from. Well, it's actually the next day and let me tell you what happened. So, we failed. We could not get it working. They worked on that firmware. They could not get the firmware to upload from, uh, from the site at Frederick. And um, because of that, we're thinking um, that's why the unit didn't work. Uh, the station was communicating with the car, but the car was not communicating back to the station. So why am I driving the 80 miles back to this place to try it out again the next day? Well, while I was at home editing the video last night, I actually finished and uploaded it to YouTube. I just didn't make it public yet. I decided I was going to try the firmware one more time. And I'll be danged if I didn't get that firmware to upload this, uh, this thing last night. So I got it one more time. This is the fourth, this is actually the fifth time.
But the fourth time going to this Frederick location, one time was Electrify America. So I'm headed back down there again, and I'm going to try this one more time to see if it works. Let me point this out. I don't think this company is a scam or anything. I think this was a, a good attempt at trying, but they, they skipped some steps, you know. They, they tested it in China and in um, South Korea, and it works fine. But they didn't test it on any stations in the U.S., and that's where the problem is. But I've had really good communications with the company. They're very responsive. They even called me on the phone and talked about it. So they've offered a refund. They're trying to make it right, and I believe it will eventually be right. They just need more testing with stations in the U.S. And I actually offered to forego the refund that was offered me. And I'm going to help them test the unit. They're going to send me specialized software for my computer. But this software will monitor the communications between the station and the adapter. And it will upload it back to them so they can see where the problem's happening. So I'm headed back to this station and we're gonna give it one more try to see if this final firmware is gonna be the fix or if I'm gonna need to upload them some data and let them try again. All right guys, so I'm back here in Frederick. I'm gonna give this uh, a shot. I forgot got my jacket and I'm freezing cold and it's about a 30 mile an hour wind right now so I'm gonna get right to it the first thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get the app ready so I'm I will have it ready to turn on so the apps ready I'm just gonna put that in my pocket I don't have I'm gonna start my POV camera here all right the POV is running so I got my adapter here I got a good boy here. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do, we are going to attach this just like we did on all the other days. We're going to put that in there, start charging. Okay. Charger plugged in. It says it's connected. There is no voltage presented, so this isn't good. Not a good start. Because usually that needs to say at least one volt here. Charge failed, communication failed. We're gonna reset everything. I'm gonna make sure my car stays unlocked. That was one of the comments that they said their car was unlocked. Okay. It's ready to reset. Okay, this light needs to be flashing. Plug it in, it starts flashing. It is so windy, my tripod just moved. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready. We got voltage, yes. We got voltage, people. It's performing an isolation test. The next thing that needs to happen, the vehicle needs to request power. Charge failed. Isolation test failed. We're gonna give this another go. It is cold. I forgot my jacket. Oh, so cold. Get this adapter hooked up. It is ready to be plugged in.
All right, it's blinking. I don't know if they're gonna start it remotely. Vehicle timeout, communication failed. Yep. Plug that back in. Plug that in. Hit the green button, or the red button, green light. All right, initiating the green light is flashing over there. It does have voltage, so I was told yesterday if this stop light is not shaded out, it could possibly work, but we got an isolation test failed again. So it is seeing voltage from the car, but the car is not communicating back. It's the same problem it had yesterday before the firmware update. We are gonna move over here to this other station. Try to leave this in some sense of order here because any normal CCS car pulls up, it will work for them. There's nothing wrong with the station. It's just 100% this adapter. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Y'all, you have no idea how windy it is. If you could see the flags over there right now. I guess you can, the POV. <laughs> so look at those flags up there. That's how windy it is right now. Okay. I forget I'm wearing this thing, it's crazy. All right, so let me get the app ready. This guy I'm talking to right here, he is a senior manager at the company at this Francis Energy Company, and he has been helping me the whole way, working with me. It's so awesome. CCS, click that bad boy in. I plugged in the adapter. Hit the button, the light went out. Start charging, initiating. Now see this time, the stoplight, okay, there it goes. It's not grayed out anymore. So it's either gonna work or I'm gonna get an isolation test failed. Because it, isolation test failed. It is communicating with the car, but the car is not communicating with the station. This is the last time, folks, the last time. Come on, blink. Blink. Okay, it's blinking. Suspended EV. What the does that mean? All right, start charging. Okay. It's gray. We need this to turn white. That's the first step. Okay, it turned white. It's seeing voltage from the car. Now, please car, please say, send me power. Come on, Tessie. Say, ah, isolation test failed. I have the latest firmware. I downloaded it this morning. It's obviously an adapter problem that the latest firmware didn't fix. So this is a, this station happens to be a BTC power station. I have tried it also on a ABB station and the ABB station didn't work either. That was, uh, he's rebooting it. No worries about that. That was planned and on purpose. This is a BTC power DC fast charger. I have tried it at the ABB station and Eric also. No good for me. The ABB is a uh, Electrify America. This uh, BTC happens to be Francis Energy. The folks at Francis are working hard trying to get this adapter to work for me. So it is certainly not their fault. Uh, the tech last night was on the phone with upper level techs at the BTC power company, like wherever they're headquartered. He was on the phone with them trying to get this to work. So it's certainly nothing to do 
with Francis is why this isn't working. It's totally to do with the firmware in here. Like I said, I have the latest firmware. It did not fix it. Since the guy up Francis took the time to reboot the machine for me, I'm going to give it one more go. I know I told you that I was done. Plugging this in. You know, it's sad that I know what code it's going to be. I've done this so many times. Communication failed. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there. And I'm just going to plug this in here. Okay. That's a different way. I've never done that before. So, here we go. Start charging. It's initiating. All right, we got a white stop sign, so it's either isolation test failed or it's gonna work. 90% sure it's gonna be isolation test failed. There it is. All right, y'all, I'm done. I'm gonna head back home where it's warm, get back in that editing bay and get this video out for you. But thanks again for watching this video of me trying to get this adapter to work. Uh, I'm gonna spend the next week or two working with the Chinese SeaTech power company trying to get this working. And if I get it working, y'all will be the first to know, well, you'll be the second to know, I'll, I'll know first, but I will post a video of it working and let y'all know that we finally succeeded. But thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.